Harmonic Pattern Collection, now available on TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim platform. I want to take a minute and go through uh, some simple setup uh, procedures for how to illustrate the patterns clearly and highlight the zones and get the most out of the entire program. Now, the TD Ameritrade program will have automatic uh, harmonic pattern matches and generate these matches like this bat pattern you currently see in a five minute time frame on the uh, Dow Jones E-mini, the YM. But you can set these preferences and want to walk through how to just set this up to get the clearest pattern. So they really pop and the zones pop and, and how to get that. So you set it at the preference you really want. And you can even scan it in even tighter to get the full view of program and let me bring that back here auto set that there you go and we want to just kind of edit right click on there that'll bring up the settings for the harmonic pattern collection now within here we have all of the inputs there's three main sections and we want to start with the inputs at the top and just go through and make sure that we have our minimum settings here. The length, that's pattern length, that's set at 20. Uh, we want to show all of the, the labels on the patterns and the points. And then getting down to these target one, target two, target three, these are the profit objectives that are established here, here, and here as measured by the pattern. Once the pattern completes, we look at these as minimum objectives, and we want to show those. So make sure that's all set at yes, and then also we want to have the plot names and, and show different input names. So make sure that stuff is selected. Now, the pattern itself and illustrating kind of creating the larger fonts and thickness of the lines and different settings falls into this second category of plots. We're currently looking at a bearish pattern. So we'll go through these. These are the settings for both bullish and bearish. When we're looking at something that says bull projection one, bull projection two, that will be for a bullish pattern. We'll look at that in a second. This is a bearish pattern. And we want to go through these settings and just look at each to set them up properly. So on our bear projection one, that is the one of the primary measurements that we'll look at and we see that that's a dotted line and there's uh, many different variations of how that line can be drawn we pretty much want to keep it simple and have a, a straight up line we can change the preferences or the width you know you could go very thick take a look there keep it at a four or even go to a five You could go to a different type of dashed, and that changes that primary BC extension there for the bat pattern. I think it's best to keep that maybe down at about a two to highlight that, keep that kind of a, as a secondary highlight. And we'll, we'll look at the pattern structure in a minute and explain why, but that is under the the bear projection one bear projection two will be the other primary move and again that's usually a dashed line it will change that slightly to a longer dash and just to highlight where that is show you the thick what it looks like if it was set thick let's bring that over that one up there and that primary secondary projection we want to keep that pretty much straight that is the into the final CD leg move now looking at also the bear wave that's going to be the primary pattern wave structure again we want to keep this all numerical don't need to change that keep it as a straight line 
there. And then it just increased the thickness. This is a case where you want to go to, say, 4. And look, that'll give you just a thicker pattern setting. Go to even 5, maybe. Bend the targets, come down to bull, sorry, to bear target one. That's your 382 level. Bear target two, bear target three. These are 382, 618, and then we can set that either 113 or 1.0. And these are usually the minimum objectives. In this case, actually, the market traded much further beyond those levels, but with all harmonic patterns, we look at specific minimum objectives first. So those are important, and you need to select, make sure that these bubble, show bubble, show title, show plot, that's critical. And you can change that maybe a little bit, maybe make that like an arrow, plus or minus, since you're trying to highlight where that is. Uh, say bear target one, like that. Uh, no, let's make bear target one a minimum objective and keep that kind of straight. That would be your 382 level. And that's something that you absolutely, you really want to create a zone. And then with the bear, really with bear target two, with all profit targets and target twos, maybe create something that accentuates it. Uh, since we want to kind of create that zone where the 382 is the minimum and the 618 is kind of the, the mandatory objective for an initial profit uh, uh, target, you might want to make that thick, maybe four. And again, when we change these, we can change these colors around a little bit, and we'll look at that in a second. But um, the whole... Uh, ability and idea is to create that type of a zone where once you get down to that level uh, you are absolutely looking for signals for trade management objectives regardless of what happens that is how we handle every harmonic pattern now again these are related to the bear bearish pattern settings and if we scroll down a little bit more uh, we're going to see on the very bottom here, globals, and we want to collect, click, select that, and probably have to scroll down even further. Yep, here, here it is. And we will find our color settings. There you go. At that right. There you go. So here are some of the, the color settings. I would keep it simple and change this. So for a bearish PRZ, we would want a light green objective. I think, again, that highlights. There you see the arrows. And that is our minimum objective. The tertiary or the third level, that's something we don't normally utilize in harmonic patterns, but we've included it with this program and it you know utilize it off the measurement of the pattern there's a few different levels that you could use as a third le third objective but our main focus is what happens at the completion of the pattern and assessing that reaction so a green with a red pattern for bearish would be good and the bearish prz that is probably best served as a uh, lighter red or even I would say a pink is probably going to highlight and contrast. There you go. Where then you're looking into that zone. And then the bearish fill should be something as well that, you know, captures that zone concept in there. There's the bearish PRZ. Um, again, <clears throat> all of this is really dependent on your own preference, but I would look at that. For example, this is a, a black background. You really want these patterns to pop. So something, you know, that's a better red pattern against the black would really, there you go. That gives you a better idea of how that pattern looks. 
and then even inside that that bearish fill you know give it some kind of contrast or some kind of something that's a little bit different and then it really sticks out again the um, the bearish PRZ and the bearish outline all of that something that is all user based now if you wanted to look say uh, at all of those and we can save that as your default so click there once you've got all of these settings set up but most of them are for the big patterns and for uh, each of the wave settings they should be about a four and they should have a normal line uh, when you talk about the the target zones the bull target one two three they can create an arrow here especially at target two to really define our expected move off of any harmonic pattern and then again the the zone concept I leave it up to each person you can change that however you want I mean you could even create something that's even a little more distinct a white kind of situation look at that you know then then you know you're really into the the meat of the trade with a different type of color those are the things again I think they'll really help to kind of outline and make the levels pop for the entire setup uh, take a look at that and then again that's a little bit different let me bring this in here for a second you know that sticks out a lot more now than than say when we started and that white zone again that's a minimum expectation zone even though this went a lot about a lot further uh, but notice it's still it's a five minute chart it still came all the way back to retest that pattern that's something we'll talk about in other webinars but again this is fantastic for the TD Ameritrade platform to have such functionality differentiate the structures uh, we could even look at say a 30 minute time frame I'll show you a few uh, interesting bullish patterns that have uh, much the same situation here of here's some great structures of some presets that were set up you know here's a butterfly pattern and we've set that up mostly where these are four a four font with a different cut type of real uh, cyan blue and uh, some different lime green that makes it really highlights the levels and again this is the type of expectation where we're focused on the bottom range of the zone that's something else where you can uh, increase the font size of the zone in the settings so maybe increase the extreme down to a three or a four but again with that you really see that the pattern pop out uh, and again get a little perspective you actually had three setups here that gave you reactions intraday that's 30 minute chart you have an, a third one here that's actually forming right now this is an interesting setup where we've shown a few patterns that have completed already and here is one where you have all the critical numbers measured and it's pointing much lower to your zone which is a a, a great um, example of this in action and once this gets down into the potential reversal zone that is the completion area of the harmonic pattern we will kick up the profit targets and this will start to show us the target one two three the three eight two six one eight and one one three but this is all measured by the pattern you're seeing this actually automatically be generated as we speak and this is again the ym it's a 10-day chart of the 30-minute time frame but this is the dow e-mini so great example there and when those you change those settings they really pop out like that so take a look and if you have any questions you can reach out and contact us at support and we can help you get started thanks everybody hope you have a great time and uh, get the most out of your TD Ameritrade harmonic pattern collection scanner